everybody it's Pam with silver and sparkles and I am back to work on this journal I gave you guys a little sneak peek of it um, when I was making fun ephemera using uh, packaging paper you know that comes in like our Amazon packages and other things in the mail and I'd made um, multiple different pieces of ephemera with it some of those pieces are no longer in my possession um, at my workshop I brought a pile of things to let people choose from um, as little door prizes and uh, some of them went to new homes which is great but I can always make more but I was just this is what I was gonna work on this afternoon here in my craft room or the sparkle room and I just thought instead of having a prepared video we would just chat a little bit and I'll work on decorating some of the pages because I really want um to have this one um ready to go so a lot of so so I love the monthly kits I think I've mentioned that a few times for Pink Monarch prints and there's just so many pages and pieces you can do with them and everything coordinates so I have a lot of stuff already cut out and kind of prepped to work with, but I was also going to show you guys, and if you haven't seen this video, it's actually one I made uh, for Pink Monarch Prints as a guest designer, um, and it's these expandable um, file folders, and it's where you just kind of put a a gusset hinge on the folder and now suddenly you have a ton of room to stuff things and then I decorated them collaged on them added these lovely little dangles super cute right so um, and I'm actually thinking about making a little box for this size of folder to fit in um, to keep pieces of ephemera in. I'm, I'm thinking that would be a fun way to organize some. But I was also thinking, this one I haven't decorated yet, I was also thinking it would be fun to put one of these maybe on the front or back cover of this journal. This is a soft-sided journal, and I envision it getting really chunky. And um, I think it can handle, you know, if we kind of fill that up with some things. So I was thinking I would... Um, you know, install it here on the page. I don't know if I want some things underneath first. But then the other thing I was going to do is um, make a closure. And I think I'm going to use this ribbon. So I also just did a video recently showing y'all my vintage haul um, or things that I had found, a bunch of little golden books, a bunch of laces. And there were some ribbons that had fallen down in another bag. Anyway, ha, look at this. Is this not incredible? Fancy pearls, white and natural. No idea how old it was, but knew it was $1.99. So anyway, I'm going to use those for something. But then these, I imagine they're quite old. So this is a velvet, it says gift tie ribbon. It was 59 cents. Um, originally it was made in the USA Berwick Pennsylvania okay so anyway I got pretty excited this one is an orange and th this one is like a I'm trying to think of how to describe the texture of it um, it's like paper almost it's not you know so anyway we'll see but I was thinking for some of my fall crafts and it would even look cute with this with the orange so I have that one out and then this one I've already cut a few strips off of um, that I just think is really pretty so and I don't know I just like it with this paper so I think I'm gonna make the closure with that but I'm definitely gonna use some of this blue velvet somewhere okay so I think the kind of closure I want to do is I want it to be one that is attached to the front and back cover and then we just tie right here on the side. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. I've already cut the ribbons for that. That is one little bit of prep that I did do. Um, like I said, I'm trying to decide if I want something... I think I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to leave it. So the first thing I need to think about is what I'm going to put on and wear the front and back covers because I may use one of these that I've already decorated because I think that would be cute. So I think I'm going to do the one with the bird. 
Okay, so we'll decorate this one together and we'll put the bird on the back cover. And I have a little dangle on this one and I do want it to dangle to the outside, not the inside, so that makes sense to put this one on the back cover. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I'm gonna add the ribbon to the, the folder here and to the page, okay? So I'm guessing at the length of the ribbon, let's see, I cut them the same length and they are, e each piece is mm, 13 and three quarter inches long. That's 32 centimeters, if you want centimeters. Um, and let's see, I want, when I look at this, from the front, I wanna see the pretty patterned side. So, and I want it in the center. So let's just mark the center. So the size of this journal, and again, it was made with packing paper, and then I just um, glued, this is um, a journal cover page that was in the kit, and then the pages are all a little bit smaller. So the height of my journal is right at seven and a half inches. And then the width of the whole thing is, let's see, like not quite 10 and three quarters. So this one is like five and a quarter. It's maybe closer to 10 and a half. Okay, just to give you an idea. So seven and a half I need to go to I'm looking for my pencil y'all um let's see three and a quarter does that sound right no three and a half three and a half and three and a half is seven ha three and three quarters goodness gracious I hate public math that is a little embarrassing okay that should be about the center and that'll give me an idea. Now I'm going to use my two-sided tape um, so that this doesn't go anywhere. And um, if you need to see any of the supplies that I'm using, they're linked um, in the description in my Amazon storefront. I get a lot of my supplies on Amazon, not all of them. Um, and I am an Amazon associate, so I do get a few pennies if you click on there, but it's no cost to you. It just helps me out as a creator, so thank you. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna put a piece of tape there. And then, like I said, I wanted it to go this way. Now, I, I don't need it to go as long as I put that piece of tape, so I'm gonna, I don't know. How much is that? I glue, I taped down about one and a half inches because we're gonna then, glue this lovely pocket um, right right on top of the, the inside cover. So I'm gonna add another little piece of tape there just to make sure that fabric to paper will stick. And I don't have to worry about it. And then I'm gonna use my regular wet white glue that I use. Um, oops, I don't know if I needed it to go that far over. Um, I'm gonna lift it up real quick if I can bring it over a little bit. There we go. All right, so I'm just gonna glue this down. This is the um, Line Co brand PVA glue, and I'm gonna glue the whole um, folder down because I imagine this will end up holding, you know, a lot of little, um, maybe journaling paper, journaling tags, cards, whatever pieces of ephemera that I choose to put in here. I want it glued down really well. It won't go anywhere. And I'm not turning this into a pocket or anything. We're just gluing it down. And I'm going to bring it sort of to the bottom. That way I can have taller things inside it. I don't know what happened here, but we're going to glue it down too. That little piece of paper. Okay. There we go. All right. So this is longer than what we're going to need, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. And then we can... You know, you can do your shorter once we kind of see how it works. So now I need to put this piece down. And again, I want to see the pretty side like that. All right, so I should mark this one as well. 
So let's go to that three, three quarters. That's pretty close. And another piece of tape. So uh, another new thing, you guys, I don't know if you guys even look at the descriptions of my videos or my links, but if you do, you will notice that I do have a new one um, where I encourage you to click to see um, some of my favorite papers on Etsy, digital papers. And um, I, I don't know if it's new or not. It's new to me, the opportunity to... Um, be in the Etsy Creator Collaborative or something like that. Anyway, it's an affiliate link too, so that if you click on that and then end up making a purchase um, for my link, um, again, I'll get a few pennies. And um, you know, when you're trying to have a craft business and a handmade business full time, every little bit helps. So if you guys are looking to shop on Etsy and don't mind clicking on my link, that would be super helpful. Um, and I'd appreciate it. So that's what that means. I, ha I actually had somebody ask me, so I guess somebody does read that, which was pretty cool. And I try not to like ask you guys or try to sell you guys a lot. I really like to be here and just show you my ideas. And, you know, I just love getting to craft every day. Um, but there are little things that are no cost to you that really do help. And I like to at least let you know about that. So anyway, I hope you understand and you don't get frustrated when I mention those things. <laughs> try not to talk about it too much. Okay. Yay! All right, let's see how this works as a closure. And I don't know, starting with the closure, I don't know if that's where I should have started, but I had the ribbon cut and I was excited about this ribbon. So let's see. And then depending on how chunky the journal is, it should still work to close it. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave that ribbon that length because I like that. I think it looks cute and I like the brown and the blue, super pretty. Okay, so that is an easy closure if you haven't done a closure that way for a journal. Um, just sandwiching it in there and it works nicely. So let's decorate. Now I'm gonna have to make sure I don't accidentally like chop off a piece of this ribbon to use for something. I have done that before, by the way. Um, been excited to um, add a piece of ribbon to something and didn't realize I was cutting from, from my, my closure. So I cut this piece out and these I think were meant to um, line you know the inside and things of these folders but what I was thinking would be cute is to add it on here maybe just as an additional pocket and as a decoration what do you guys think I'm gonna try it so I'm just gonna add glue to three sides and put it on top of the little um, file folder all right there we go. And this is where I think we can also use a piece of that blue velvet ribbon. I really wish I knew how old this was. It's Veltex. And again, it's like paper on the back. And then um, it feels like a really thin, not, not a robust, a really thin velvet. It kind of reminds me of like gift wrapping back in the 70s. Um, my mom used to love to gift wrap and she was very good at it and made beautiful bows and put ribbons on our packages and things like that. Because this feels like a paper to me, I'm gonna see if my glue holds it, we'll see. Um, and it just, I don't know, it kind of gives me that feel. All right, we're gonna stick it down and try to pull it up a little bit later after the glue's had time to dry and we'll see if it worked. Fun. Now, because I'm doing that, I don't want to decorate too much of this part of the pocket because as I start um, putting things in here, it would just cover it up. So let's just put one of these little cards in this pocket to add some color. That's cute, cute, cute. And then, um, like I said, there's all different sizes and shapes of tags and ephemera in the kit. I do want to put something here on that velvet. Wonder what would look good. Oh, wow. 
I forgot I even cut all of these out. They're really pretty. Maybe one that'll kind of stay on the pocket. What do you guys think? Maybe like that? Yeah, good enough, good enough. And again, I'm not sure now on this side, this is where we might want like a Fabrifix glue or something, but I'm gonna just use, ooh, I just hit the camera, sorry guys. I'm gonna use some glue dots. These are so sticky that I sometimes have trouble even getting them off of, see what it does? is it grabs a hold and then rips right up. So I, if you guys watch me use these, a lot of times I'm just pulling them off and sticking them down. And I use them a lot to, um, uh, attach like little bows and pieces of ribbon and things. We'll add a little glue too. Hopefully this, I didn't make too big of a mess of this pretty flower. Trying to decide where I want the leaves. I'm gonna turn it that way. All right, I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. I like it. And then again, we can decide later what all we wanna put in there, but it'll add some chunkiness. Um, the kit also came with some of these really large tags. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm gonna do with those, and I love all the different pockets. And this is, Trust me, I know it seems un unbelievable, but this is only part of what came with it. There is just so much that can be done. Um, let's see, most of it I have cut out, some I haven't. Um, I'm planning on using, I think, even some of these journaling cards as um, pockets themselves, but I thought it might be fun to grab a couple of these. They're kind of in different sizes and um, layer them and all the pages that I haven't put anything yet that it's just the packing paper I haven't yet decided but we're gonna try something and if we like it then I'll do it and if not I'll cover it up we'll glue something over top but I was thinking even though it might be a little fiddly I was thinking it might be fun to um, draw some journaling lines I'm just gonna use my brown pen and see if it looks too like cattywampus or if I like it. I don't know if I'll do it on every page, but I write even without lines, but sometimes one having the line shows my intent that, hey, here's where you can put a list or here's where you can write down some thoughts, right? Let's see, and I know there's, I don't have any, I don't believe, I would have to look through my collection. I think there's even some of those really large um, rubber stamps that are just like lines so that you could stamp on a piece of paper or the back of a tag or something. I kind of like how that's looking and I may put a little something there at the top to decorate the page. And again, I'm not, trying to make them perfect. I didn't measure out um, the width in between the lines. I'm just kind of going for it. And you could certainly do that and use a pencil and kind of mark before you, before you just dive in. <laughs> I guess I was thinking, well, if I don't like it, I'll just glue a piece of paper to it. All right, I'm gonna leave it there. And then let's find a scrap somewhere. Maybe a piece, you guys know how I like to just finger tear and make it look like it's almost like a little pad of paper. I'm gonna put it there at the top to give the page some color. And that is super easy. And I hope you guys like that idea. Let me know what you think. Ooh. So I'm also, as you know, I've been making some of my own papers and I'm getting ready to think about um, my different Christmas designs. I probably should have been thinking about it already since we're in the middle, we're getting to be late September. But um, think about, or let me, leave me some comments. Like, 
Do y'all want like vintage traditional kind of Christmas papers or is there a certain color theme you'd like to see? Again, traditional Christmas colors or there's some other colors you'd like to see? Like I know a few years back, like all the pink Santa stuff was super popular. Um, anyway, just whatever comes to mind, let me know. I'm, again, I can't promise that, that I'll be able to because I'm still learning myself. Um how to do papers, but at least give me some ideas. Like, do you want to see um, Santa Clauses? Do you want to see elves, reindeer, trees, stars, ornaments? Like, you know, just try to try to think of what you might like. This was a stacked pocket in the kit, and I've already glued it together. And I'm going to glue just on three sides so that even the very tall pocket in the bag, so there'll be one, two, three pockets. Um, you know, and are you wanting, like, background papers? Are you wanting... Um, tags or you wanting like ephemera pieces like you know what are what are you most interested in especially as it relates to you know Christmas papers if you have other ideas for papers you know share that too that's that's always welcome but um if I'm being realistic probably two kits maybe for Christmas hopefully definitely one and I'm working on a gratitude kit as well so um a, a lot going on there and i'm excited about it um you have to let me know if there's anything in particular like i said that you would like to see Let's see i think i'm gonna do this flower kind of coming off the pocket and we'll just be sure not to glue the pocket closed with the flower I'm gonna put this little tag down first. I hope I'm on camera. I hate when I realize that I might be off. Okay, so we're just gonna add glue to a part of the flower because I don't wanna glue it closed and then we can bring some glue up. Cute, right? Now I'm not sure exactly what all is going to fit in here. She's sweet. Um. But at least I have it on here now, and then we can make things later that go in there. This is a piece from one of the um, pages, and it may even be too short. I don't know that I have anything quite tall enough to go in that back pocket without it getting lost. Um, so I'll probably have to make something, and that's fun too. I'm just kind of putting things in here for now because I think it makes it look nice. Let's see, will this one fit? I think it's a little, oh, it might, you know, with the, the glue. It just got a little too narrow for this one to fit, but that's okay. Um, and that's why sometimes putting hinges on your pockets, it gives you more real estate in there. You guys hear me say that all the time, but um, it definitely can help. I am going to take this piece of paper and we are going to add some things to it, like a topper and stick it in that pocket. See if we can make something that looks interesting. Um, and I, ooh, you know what, I hadn't thought about it. I wonder if this one will go in there. So this is the one that says trust new beginnings. Ah, you know what? I think that was made for that pocket. And I like that it sticks out the top. All right, we'll make something with this piece later. Or I will later. I haven't gone back to these yet. I was kind of thinking the brown pages definitely need something. But the, the patterns do as well. Um, there's a lot of pages to this. So we are not going to finish it in this video. Like I said, I was planning to just chat with you guys some so you could see what I was up to. All right, this is a piece that I made um, in that other video, but let, let's install it on this page. So this kind of shows you too when I'm making things, then what are some of the things that I then do with it? I think I'm going to, you know, I was kind of wanting a tab. See if I can find a piece of paper. Don't need to make my life difficult though, using papers that are way too small. Let's see. And this one might be too small too. I didn't cut a lot of, or cut, I didn't print, 
I could talk. Um, a lot of extra sheets from this kit. I always tend to overprint when I get a new paper kit. And eventually it all gets used, but I do, you know, I do have piles of digitals that I've printed that I keep thinking, oh, I'm going to get back to that. I'm going to get back to that. And then I don't. Yeah. So, um, I think I want to do it like this so that we have like the tab on both sides. Oh, and that's cute because this paper matches the little one up there. I'll bring it down. I think it's okay that it isn't exactly up top. It's okay. All right, I'm going to glue this first. And again, if you didn't watch the video um, where we made this ephemera with the packing tape, I will link it in the description for you in case you want to go back and watch it and get some ideas for some layering and using some of the different pieces. I added some book page and um, dictionary paper, I believe. Sometimes after I've slept, it's hard to remember everything I did on a particular, like, is that that video or is that a different video? Which video am I thinking about? <laughs> All right. The only thing when I'm putting these tags on is I do have to be careful and make sure that I have not, um, like, grabbed extra pages. And I've done that before. I think I've even done it on camera, you know, and then glued these two together. We don't want that to happen because I don't want to lose this page. So when you are gluing these down, I encourage you to always double, triple check. You don't think you're gonna do it and then suddenly your pages are glued together. Luckily, you can cut them apart, but <laughs> oh, I think that looks cute. So see how if you just like want to play with making ephemera, then when you're ready to actually put a journal together, um, the, the pieces just really make everything pop. I love it. All right, so we're gonna glue um, this tag down and I think I'm going to do it in such a way that it's a tuck spot. I don't have anything that I've got in mind yet to tuck in there, but I am going to glue on the three sides and I did go ahead and come down on this angle just to make it nice and sturdy. Um, so the tuck spot will only be this wide, but that's all right. It's a nice big tag. And we'll add a few little pieces to it. You know, it doesn't take much when these kits, you know, when the papers are so pretty to really, um, to really have a nice finished product. Some of these pieces I've already inked and some I haven't. All right. So when I'm ready to think about it, or I know what I want to put in here, see, now I have a tuck spot. We'll just leave that there for right now. All right, and we've got that page. I love this. I may do this on some other pages as well. All right, I think this is where it'll be cute to use some of these pockets I started talking about earlier. I wanna put one of the larger ones on the bottom. There's an even larger size. Um, and a smaller one on top. Now these, this is what I meant about if you have a hinge and you get more real estate. If I cut these off and just glue this pocket down, we, we can still put things in there, but you, you lose some of the space. With these little hinges, and I think most everybody knows how these works, but if not, we'll get one, get them ready to go together. It gives you the full width and depth of the pocket. I am just using my ruler and my bone folder to help score this pocket where I'm gonna fold it. I, Feel like I get it neater and it's pretty quick to do um, and the lines are nice and straight and where I want them to be and you can put it on your scoreboard and do it um, you can use a scoring tool not a bone folder whatever works and now we have a cute pocket and I love the little scalloped top all right, and I think, was this, what was the other one I was gonna use? Guys, I have way too much, too many pieces sitting here on my desk. That one is a little bit smaller. We'll use this one. Too many pieces. 
and it usually doesn't bother me, but sometimes I'm like, wow, it's hard to find what I'm looking for. But this is how I craft, even when I'm just here by myself. I pull out what I wanna work with, maybe a few coordinating ribbons, my tools, the papers I'm gonna use, and I just have fun. And um, I know when I watch some of my favorite creators on their videos, and sometimes, you know, I'll have it playing, you know, and I'm crafting with them, or I'm maybe working on my own thing, but listening to see what they're making so that I can maybe do it later or go back and watch it again and craft with them. Um, it feels like, you know, you have a friend visiting, so you're not by yourself. So if you haven't tried that strategy, try it, you know, put on a video so someone is chatting with you while you're crafting and you don't feel like you're by yourself. Of course, if you have the opportunity to craft with friends, that's awesome. I do sometimes, but not as often probably as I like but I do love the time I get to spend with my paper, scissors, and glue. Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm eyeballing where to put these. Cute, right? And we can decorate the pockets and we can put things inside the pockets. Oh, here's a whale tag I had already punched out. And there's some of these shaped tags too that are cute. I think it doesn't quite go, but it is cute. And see, depending on what I put in this pocket, it may cover up however we decorate that pocket. Not that it matters, but if you wanna keep that in mind. Because you might be covering up some of your really pretty work. So I did um, put out on Instagram um, my next in-person workshop that I'm really excited about. Um, we're gonna be making a gratitude journal which I'm gonna be working on the design for that here soon. Um, I haven't, I haven't yet. I think I'm just gonna glue a flower there. I haven't um, designed the journal we're gonna make yet, but I've got ideas and I'm working on that paper pack. So soon I'll be showing um, some images or video of what we're actually gonna be making. So if you're in the Richmond area and you're interested in that, drop me a comment and we'll connect via email and I'll make sure you have all the details um and it's it's just a two-hour class on a Saturday afternoon in October I think it's the 26th um but you know if you're not that far away and you want to come or if you even just want to come and spend the night and then come join us at the studio to play you are welcome to do that I can give you some ideas or information for some lodging as well so I hope you'll think about that that's cute. We're going to put that in there um, and come join us. A little bit smaller items. All right, there we go. What have we done? We've put the front and back cover pockets on, a closure. We've decorated a few pages. I think I'm going to install this belly band next. It's a little bit tall, but I don't mind having that tag um, sticking out at the top. It just depends on what page I want to put on it. I had already put in this some center pockets, just tied it with a bow. And guys, this is just one easy signature with a three pamphlet stitch. So you can grab one of my other videos if you need some help um, on how to do that. Okay, I think I'm going to bring this kind of towards the back just make a decision and go ahead and put it in um, and not worry it is a little bit taller than my papers I'm gonna try to have whatever sticks out the most be at the top hope I haven't made a mess with my glue let's see how I did oh gosh it doesn't look straight on this side Oh, I didn't even know I picked yellow, yellow. Okay. <laughs> That's what happens when you don't look at what you're doing, but I think it's okay. I might even come uh, to this side and we could put something here to kind of break that up just a little bit and decide what looks cute. 
There's all these kind of tags and um, labels too that are fun. So much to play with. I'm just gonna put that there, MM. Um, mom's make. <laughs> or I guess it could be an M&M &M chocolate. I don't know. All right, there we go. So now we have this belly band that, um, I'm gonna put this somewhere else and we'll just put a tag or something under here for now. Okay, so I've still got quite a few pages to do. I definitely want to do several more with the lines. So maybe this one could be lines. I'm not gonna sit here on camera and um, draw all the lines, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a line to remind myself that that's what I'm planning to do with this page. So that'll be two on this half of the signature. And then let's pick a couple of pages. Um, there we go. That'll be lined paper. We've got a belly band here. Oh, and we're already to the back. Let's see. Let me see what I got. All right, I had oh, okay, so the first page has lines, then we have the belly band. So I guess if we're gonna have another line paper, it's gonna be this one. Let's see how many pages this journal has. It seemed like a lot when I was trying to figure out what to do. Let's see, that's the cover. There's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's 10 pages, that makes sense. Okay, so now I know which ones I'm holding to have the lines on and then what else I still need to decorate and add to it. Let's install this last collage that I made or the last one that I still have. Maybe we'll just put it right here on this striped paper. Um, and then I'll have to finish this online and then maybe just do a quick flip through for you guys um, after I finish it all up, okay? So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna call this video done. Uh, I need to go let my little dogs out and need something to drink. So um, let me add one more little piece. That's, and that is not it. I was like, hmm, I'm just gonna grab something and put it down just to um, have a little something, something extra on here. Maybe it's this piece. Let's see, this has got a flower on it. Sometimes I just like it to look like, you know, uh, over the edge, I guess, of the collage is what I'm trying to say. We're just gonna stick it there. All right. I hope you guys had fun. If you haven't already, please hit that like button. Leave me a comment. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know um, what else you'd like to see. And definitely let me know about those Christmas paper ideas, okay? All right, everybody. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.